Hello viewers, when you connect to MySQL database from a third-party software like Power BI, you may encounter an error if the required components or the connectors are not installed in the system. This is expected and I will show you how to resolve this issue within a minute. So I will first click on this connect button and as expected, I have encountered this error from the MySQL database which is telling me this connector requires one or more additional components to be installed before it can be used. So I will simply click on OK and to resolve this issue, we have to download one connector component. For that, first I will go to Google and search for this download MySQL connector net. Press enter. And in the first link, download connector slash net MySQL developer zone, I will open it in a separate tab. In this space, we get the details about the connector, which is connector slash net 8.0.32 is the version. This is the latest one, which is available to download now. And the platform is obviously going to be Windows for us. And the connector installer, that is the MSI version, is selected by default here. And this 32-bit connector will work for us and we will simply click on the download button and in this screen we don't have to log in or sign up simply click on this no thanks just start my download and it takes just a couple of seconds to download this small msi file then click on this downloaded msi file and it starts the installer to install the MySQL connector net 8.0.32 and we will click on the next button then we will go for a complete installation then we will click on the install button and this installation will hardly take a couple of seconds and this is done now click on the finish button to complete and exit the installation now we will go back to our power bi window now the required connectors were installed but before we attempt to connect let me close this power bi window and restart it so that new settings will take effect close this splash screen then we will go to this get data button then more in the left hand side list we will select the database option and in the right hand side we will select mysql database and then click on this connect button And this time we did not encounter the issue. 